name is Kinsey. I'm the marketing director for Food on the Hill, AKA all of the food on campus. And today I'm gonna to show you around our food hall and then also just talk a little bit more about dining locations on campus. Feel free to ask questions throughout this live. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it. We're starting right at the entrance. Um, and so a few things I wanted to point out right away is whenever you get to our food hall, what you're gonna do is grab your campus ID, that's um, where your meal plan is actually housed, and you're actually gonna just swipe yourself in. Um, so you'll swipe it, it'll print a receipt, and then grab that receipt, and you're gonna wanna hold on to it, and I'll show you why later. Um, but before we keep moving on, I wanted to show you a few fun things that we're adding to this year's uh, dining experience. Right next to each of our scanners, if it is a meal trade location, there is a black sticker. And so the black sticker shows we've got meal trade all day, every day, which is super great. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can meal trade. You can meal trade three times a day, which is insane. But if you scan this QR code right next to that scanner, it'll actually show you this graphic that breaks it all down for you. So you've got your breakfast options, your lunch options, and your dinner options. So definitely utilize that as a resource. And if you have any questions, um, message us. Has it, has it ever been that flexible? Honestly, it's been that, that flexible, mm -hmm. but this year we were like, you know, why don't we break it down and show um, show you guys how to do it just a little bit easier. So yeah. it breaks it down. Here's all your breakfast options because you've always been able to do it during breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but we just never really specified all of the meal periods mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and timing for that. So this year we did that um, to help you guys figure out and navigate more of your meal trade options on campus. Another thing that we have at our locations, if you weren't able to join us for in-person orientation, don't sweat it. You're still going to get um, some of the resources when you come to campus. So this is actually what we call our meal plan brochure. Um, these are all your meal plans on campus and it breaks it down. Here's your meal swipes. Um, your meal swipes are for those all you care to eat dining halls, Fulbright and Pomfret. Swipe in, get all you want. Um, you can eat as little or as much as you'd like. You can meal trade, which is kind of what I just talked about. So instead of swiping into that dining hall, you can trade um, one of your meals of the week at one of our retail locations. So that means Chick-fil-A for breakfast, um, our Cabo location for dinner, and so much more. So definitely check out this black sticker when you get here, it'll break it all down for you. And then last component is your dining dollars. Those dining dollars are used just like cash, just like a debit card. They come with your plan automatically. They're for the whole semester. So that's huge. And the best part about them is they're tax-free, which locally our food and beverage tax is 12%, so they're really saving you some money. Those dining dollars can be used at any of our dining locations. Say you have Plan 15 and you run out of your 15 meals for the week, you can still use those dining dollars at every single one of our locations, food hall, dining halls, all of them. If you run out like me, <laughs> no sweat, I'm definitely a coffee person if you can't die, tell by how fast I'm talking. Um, if you run out of those, no worries. You can actually reload them um, in increments of 50, 75, and 100 dining dollars. Just know they don't roll over to that next semester, so use them all up. So this is a huge resource, and one of my personal favorite things that we've added to this, um, this past year is top 10 questions asked at orientation. So if there's ever a question that you're like, I have no idea, when does my meal, when do my meals reset, and all of these things, um, this is a huge resource for you guys. But, if you have any additional questions, I'm going to have you follow me over here. Sure. Emily, did you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Emily. I'm a marketing intern with University Housing. And feel free to ask any questions or tell us where you're tuning in from in the comments. Yeah. Okay. So this is us. This is our Food on the Hill. We've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We're on TikTok now, too. Um, definitely give us a follow. Not only are we gonna show you where we eat every single day, um, cause we do eat here every single day, just like you. Uh, we'll be showing you events, limited time offers, and all that fun stuff coming to campus, but we're an additional resource. So if you get here and you have no idea how to use that meal plan, please, please, please message us. We wanna make sure you know what you're doing. We wanna make sure you like it and all of that fun stuff. So definitely give us a message. We're very accessible right there. We're at the palms of your hands. So if you have any questions on how that thing works, message us. This is another fun thing. So if you are a student that actually isn't living on campus, we do offer multiple meal plans. So we've got plan 10 to unlimited plus for those on campus students, but actually if you live off campus, you can still purchase those meal plans as well as plan five, plan 25, plan 50, plan 80. There's so many plans. So definitely check out 
um, all of them and see if you if there's one that really will fit your schedule and make sense for you. And then I want to hop right over here. I'm going to do a quick little turnaround. This is our campus dining map. We've got 20 plus locations for you to choose from, from Fulbright Dining Hall up here to Pomfret Dining Hall down here. We've got a lot of locations right there. Well, right now where we are, we're in that um, in our food hall. And so our food hall actually encompasses nine new locations. We started this last year. So we've got a year under our belt. We're really excited for you to see um, what else we're coming up with this semester. As far as new locations on campus goes, we are currently, we just switched over from Flying Burrito to Cabo Mexican Grill. Cabo Mexican Grill, it's very much like Chipotle. Build your own burritos, burritos bowls, nachos, all of that fun stuff. Super good Tex-Mex. And then another fun thing about Cabo is we actually added wellness bowls and wellness mm, bowls from, awesome. yeah, keto, paleo. Um, so no matter the diet or um, dietary need that you have, we have tried to make that um, that location very accommodating. And then lastly, we've got a new Hill Coffee Co. down at Willard J. Walker. Fun fact, Hill Coffee Co., um, we added that addition to campus about two years ago. We have a local roaster called Mountain Bird Coffee, and then we also have an incredible pastry team. They make all of our bagels in-house, croissants in-house. Every single bread that you see in there is all made in-house. What, um, what's your pastry weakness? Oh my gosh. Any croissant. <laughs> I'm a big croissant girl. If I'm having a day, I'm getting a croissant. So um, any of their croissants, they always kind of add them. But my favorite is the almond croissant. Super good. So that is amazing. And Hill Coffee Co. is super fun. It's going to be down um, if you're in Walton or Kimball, Kimball Hall. It'll be all kind of close to that. And another fun perk about it is actually one of our partners with Mountain Bird graduated from the MBA program down at Walton. So Fun Great connections there. to yeah. the university. Oh yeah, we love to see it. Um, all right, so now we're going into our space. Before I show you kind of like our perks and freebies and all that fun stuff, I do want to quickly show you some of the murals that we added to campus this year. We wanted this food hall to feel like Fayetteville. We want it to feel more local. Um, and so therefore, we actually partnered with a lot of our local artists. So this one is personally one of my favorites, this is Jason Jones. You'll see a lot of his work throughout our space. It's kind of tying in that fun robot that you might see while you're driving on college and all of that fun stuff with food on campus. So we're super excited to have these additions. And the, so you'll see a few more. That robot has a very big heart. Yes. <laughs> it's really sweet. Oh, and it's a strawberry. Yeah, it's, it's a, a strawberry. strawberry and a heart. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We love to see it. Uh, we got a comment. Cameron says, I'm a big fan of croissants too. I'm more of a butter croissant person oh. though. Oh. Well, we do have those as well. <laughs> so we'll I'm, satisfy that need. I'm a chocolate croissant person myself. Oh, yeah. so. Me as well. Okay, we yeah. got different croissants We got on. it all. Um, okay, so really quickly, I wanna break down. So you've got that receipt in your hand. We just swiped into this food hall. Um, the best part about it is not only do you get a meal from one of the nine locations, you get three freebie stations as well. So in that ticket comes with um, one of these freebie stations, we've got the pantry, dessert, and fruit bar. What you're looking at right now is the pantry. Cool thing, so we've got an associate behind the counter. They'll be able to make a waffle for you, toast, bagel. Um, we've got fruit, we have cereal, so much. There's so much to choose from and they'll make it just the way you want it. This is also where our coffee is. So if you are a coffee person like me, you can grab a cup of coffee here. Um, but this is included in your meal, so I really wanted to highlight this one. No ticket required. No ticket required. Okay. Yeah, once you swipe into this location, um, you have access to those freebie stations um, automatically. So the only places you'll need the ticket is when you go to redeem your meal. So with that being said, let's kind of pan over over here. We've got Debbie's Morning Drive. Debbie's Morning Drive is our breakfast location. So we've got... Um, a breakfast burrito, salsa, egg and cheese sandwich, and a lot of other other offerings for breakfast. It can be grab and go, but we also have a breakfast plate. And in that plate, it changes every single week. So it could be French toast one week, waffles the next, it comes with egg, protein, and then obviously you can still grab your fruit from our freebie station. So a really well-rounded meal. Um, one of my favorite parts about this Debbie's Morning Drive is it's actually named after one of our long-term supervisors, Debbie. Every For the past like 15 plus years, she's been opening this food hall um, when it was like a dining hall and everything. So she has been such a rock star on our team. And so if 
felt really right to name this location after her. Oh, it's a nice tribute. Yeah, we love it. Um, and then we've got Ark and Style. I will let you know we're adding a facelift to this one, but I'm going to point out some fun things about this. So Ark and Style is kind of our home style meets smoked in-house meat. Um, so fun fact, we've got a smoker now in this location and you will be able to smell it. It is absolutely <laughs> amazing. My office downstairs and I'm always smelling um, barbecue and everything like that. And you'd think I'd get sick of it, but I do eat here very frequently. So it's always an offering of smoked pulled pork and then another meat. Um, and then it also has like seasonal veggies, mac and cheese, you know, the, the good old home style uh, meals. And one great thing about this, if meat isn't for you, you can actually just add all the sides. So if you, if you still love that mac and cheese, that seasonal veggie, um, you can just kind of make a whole plate of that. The cool part about this is we actually, not only do we smoke the meats in-house, but we make all the sauces in-house. My personal favorite is the Alabama white. It's so good. <laughs> is that the mayo sauce? I don't I don't know if it's mayonnaise. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but oh my God, it'll rock your socks off. Oh, it is man. so okay. good, yeah. What's your I, favorite uh, barbecue altogether? Um, what, okay. what type of cut What do you like? So I would say on Thursdays, they do a smoked meatloaf. Mm. And I honestly never thought that that would be for me. Let me tell you right now, it is a game changer. You have to get it. It's super Smoked good. Smoked meatloaf. Smoked meatloaf. I know, right? Like Today I learned. Yeah, exactly. So watch out. You got to get it. Uh, we have a question. Okay, yeah. Um, someone asked, is Starbucks at the Union, Starbucks at the Union can be a meal trade? Starbucks is not quite at the Union. It's downstairs connected to Founders. While it isn't meal trade, you can actually use your dining dollars. So if you see Starbucks here, you can use your dining dollars. A question that I keep seeing very frequently is, if I have a Starbucks gift card gifted to me, can I use my gift card on campus? And you can't. You can also use Starbucks gift card downstairs. Um, but while you can't meal trade there, you can use your meal plan. And then the only other place that you can't quite use, like an outside um, gift card, is Chick-fil-A. So we're still working on that, but Starbucks, you can. And a pro tip about Starbucks especially, do not go there between classes. Try to go like before a class or some odd time because otherwise the line is super long. Yeah, exactly. And that's Very another popular. right. And that's another reason we're adding the Hill Coffee Co. down by Walton and Kimball and all these other places. Um, there's definitely a lot of a huge coffee scene in the city of Fayetteville, <laughs> and so we recognize that. So that's why we're putting um, some high quality coffee down by those lo those locations. So, great question. One thing I wanted to point out here, we've actually got on the side, we've partnered with Experience Fayetteville. So this is just a fun little touch. Not only is it Ark and Style, but it's another local piece of kind of that Fayetteville look. So you can see some bikers. And if you don't have a bike now, I promise you'll probably buy one by the end of your senior year. We're a big mountain biking community. Yes. So. Okay, then we've got Root For You. It's a salad that'll have you rooting. So these salads are all pre-made, which is super great. Grab and go. Everything in this um, location that you're seeing, so everything in the food hall is served to go. So you can come in here, grab your meal quickly, and leave. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention. And then root for you, back to that, we've got house-made salads, um, dressings made in-house. There's all kinds. If you love salads, one of my personal favorites is the um, Southwest salad, and then you can't go wrong with the chicken Caesar. Um, Cameron asked, curious question, is there any vegan food on campus? Absolutely, I've got you covered. Um, so let's keep going and I'll show you a few more locations. So actually, we'll pause right here for a minute. But basically, vegan vegetarian, we are going to be releasing a vegan vegetarian guide on all the places that you can get a vegan vegetarian meal. If you follow Arky Eats Well, that is our campus dietitian, and she um, really tries to do like meatless Mondays and all that fun stuff. We'll have a location in this food hall specifically geared towards people that do choose vegan vegetarian um, lifestyle. We've got you covered, but yes, there are a lot of options on campus. One thing I highly, highly recommend is downloading our Dine on Campus app. It is a green logo. Um, it's like a little black like D with a leaf on the top. Download that app, Dine on Campus, and log in with the University of Arkansas. It'll show you all of our meals, um, all of our menus, all of our hours, 
events and so much more. But it's huge for people um, that might be adhering to a different dietary need or dietary lifestyle. So go there, it'll show you. Here's all your options. And it actually has some little icons that'll break it down for you. If we go here, you can see those nice. icons. So we got vegetarian, vegan, avoiding gluten. So if you see those icons, it'll show you like in the menu um, what that specific item adheres to. So great question. This, while you can't see all the deliciousness right now, is our dessert bar. It's something that you'll also smell right around the corner. Um, this is also a freebie station, so when you're done with that meal, um, you can come here and enjoy a dessert. A fun fact on here, they do, every Friday they do a um, Cookie Cake Friday. So what is Cookie Cake Friday? It is something that has been around since I was a freshman here. Okay. Um, which was a long time ago. Not that long, but like six years ago. <laughs> and basically, it every single Friday we do cookie cakes. They're decorated, all that fun stuff, and you can just, I mean, who doesn't love, who doesn't it's love cookie It's cake and cake? a cookie. Yeah, it's exactly. both things. It's both things. It's delicious. It's too good to us. We love it. And then this is our, an, an, whoa, another freebie station. This comes with your meal. Um, and so basically, we've got yogurt parfait, a side salad, a fruit, um, and then while supplies last, some smoothies. So definitely a location I would go for. I mean, I'd go for all of them. <laughs> Whatever you need to do. <laughs> this is the green table. Um, so this one's really cool. So if you're someone that has a food allergy or dietary need, this is a location that I really, really recommend going to pretty frequently. Fun facts, it's free or avoids the top eight allergens. Um, and so what that means is basically, it can be gluten-free, whatever you need it to be. If you um, have just like a specific dietary need, this food is always very clean. And the best part is this, our staff here and our associates here are super well-trained. Um, all of them are, but these specific ones go through an extensive food allergy training. And so this location is set apart from all of them to try to avoid all of the cross-contamination and all that fun stuff. So this location is really great for people with specific dietary needs and food allergies. Again, I really recommend downloading our Diet on Campus app. And if you are someone that is in this category, please email our dietitian on campus, Ashley. Oh, I'm losing my breath. She <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> she. She will basically sit down one-on-one -on -one with you and just really go through all of the resources on campus on how to navigate your food allergy or dietary need and be able to really make sure you have all of those resources. So email her, diet at uark.edu. Diet at uark.edu. Yes. That's a pretty easy one to remember. Right? And just feel a little bit. Connection kind of gets a little wonky. But um, basically, if you missed anything that I said, just know that the green table is at not only in our food hall, our Fulbright dining hall, and our Palm Fritt dining hall. So um, if you're someone with a food allergy or food restriction, please, please, please take advantage of the green table. If you are not someone, though it avoids the top eight allergens, you truly cannot tell. It is such a great meal, super well-rounded, seasonal veggies, grilled chicken, all that fun stuff. So super great. Another thing I want to make sure that you do here is if you are someone with that food allergy, food restriction, please email diet at uark.edu to talk to Ashley, our campus dietitian. We already have 33 people rejoining Heck us, so yeah. we're good. Woo! Resilient Razorbacks. Yes, we love it. All right. um, okay, speaking of Razorback, this one's really fun. So this is our burger location, so it's called Tailgate. We've got burgers, um, chicken tenders, chicken tender sandwich, and then also a fun fact about this one is Tailgate. It's a burger that tells a story. So we made all of our sauces in-house. We're always highlighting some of our um, new menu items every single week at each of our locations in this food hall most of the time you'll see a new um, like a new special so this one one time we had like a catfish po' boy and so we try to switch it up pretty frequently a cool fact about this is that our, our patties all over campus are all fresh never frozen um, sustainably sourced we really try to make sure that that burger you're getting is the best one in Fayetteville and we've heard this one's pretty good being that it is one of the most favorite popular locations in this place. And um, we got a few questions. Yeah, what's up? Uh, before the live crashed, we okay. had a question that someone asked, where is this located on campus? Great question. So if you, it's actually 1021 West Dixon Street. Um, and so basically if you go across, or if you see the Starbucks on campus right off of Dixon, we're right above that. So you'll see it 
Um, it's the top of Dixon. It is the top of Dixon. It's we're, like west side of Dixon. Yeah, we're the peak. Central, we're right, Central <laughs> Campus. Central Campus, right next to Yoakum Humphreys. Um, and then I can't ever remember, what's that dorm right across the street? Gregson. Gregson. Mm -hmm. Gregson. And then also to the corner of us is the Chi Omega Greek Theater. Mm -hmm. And Ben asks, with the unlimited plan, could you swipe in twice to get two main courses? Such a great question. Ben, you will have to wait just a little bit of a time period with the unlimited. So if you grab a meal, um, I recommend we, we do it in 30 minute increments. So if you grab a meal, eat it here and then if you want one for dinner later or want to grab breakfast or something like that you just have to wait uh, in the time period so 30 minutes then you can swipe in and that's just for the unlimited plan so good perk for you oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and they can take that with them yes exactly okay. and all this food is served to go so you can always take it to go and bella asks if you have early arrival will the food halls be open yes and available yes we are getting some hours posted today so if you follow food on the hill um, definitely check out the hours. We also have Dine on Campus. That Dine on Campus app is huge. Download it. I swear it'll help you. I regret not downloading it until my second semester, so definitely do that. Um, download it. It'll show you all of our hours real time. It'll show you a campus map as well. So if you don't know where this is, it'll go like to Google Maps and all that fun stuff. So definitely download it. Um, but yes, the meal plan officially starts the 12th. We already have locations open on campus for you. So if you do arrive before then and need to use debit card, definitely you can. We've got locations for you. Um, but your meal plan starts the 12th. Therefore, multiple locations will be open for you to use it. And I will point out that um, for our residential students here, mostly those are tuning in. Um, on the north side of campus, you'll typically go to Fulbright. Mm -hmm. On the south side of campus, you'll typically go to Pomfret Food Hall. And then if you're in the central part of campus, you'll typically come here. However, you can go to any of them that you're, like if you're visiting a friend in the north, just just stop in there. Yep. You'll have a lot of flexibility. Lots of flexibility, lots of things to try. I do office right under here, so I'm a, I'm a little biased. This is definitely one of my favorite locations, but um, there's gonna be a lot of options for you. Okay, on the right-hand side, we've got El Cerdo, which means the pig. Um, this is a huge crowd favorite, I would say. So this is burritos, um, burrito bowls. So super delicious. They've got potato, chicken, beef. Um, and then also, like I said earlier, there's always like new menu items that they're changing. So one of my favorite is the uh, green chili pork, pork, I think, pulled pork. Mm -hmm. It's good. So I always get that in a burrito. Um, cool, cool thing, comes with chips and queso automatically. We know that's a must. <laughs> and then we've also got some sour cream, um, house-made sauces, pico de gallo, all of that fun stuff. And those are all made in-house, so definitely check it out. We have a few more questions. All right. Um, someone asked, are there buffet-style dining halls or are they all based on a meal swipe system? Okay, absolutely love this. So you're kind of answering kind of in the same realm of, as both of those questions. Your meal swipes work at those dining halls, Pomfret and Fulbright, and they are all you care to eat buffet-style. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a plate and you're gonna serve yourself. So it's super great. You can load on as much as you want. Um, you can eat as little as you want, but you're totally right. Those meal swipes work at those locations and they are completely self-serve and you can go up multiple times, all that fun stuff. And as you're talking about those different food styles mm -hmm. and those halls, um, what are some things you might highlight? I know that soft serve ice cream is commonly available. Oh yes. Um, there's a, a, a place where you can have your own sort of pasta bowl built or right um, yeah and pizza obviously yes oh yeah you got you know you have your staples you got your pizza your pasta um, my personal favorite at Fulbright dining hall in the mornings they do an omelet bar so they'll make you an omelet the way that you want it and then we just have a lot of meals that go on rotation um, so totally depends on the day that's where that dine on campus app really makes sense download it check out the menu before you go um, but yeah Christopher's totally right you can get kind of your staples every day. You can build your own sandwich, build your own salad, but also you might see like a tikka masala. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it varies. So yeah. um, one fun thing about those dining halls is that we often do events throughout the semester. So definitely check those out. Those are kind of gonna bring in some more fun styles. And if you ever have input or have anything that you wanna see in your dining hall, message us on Food on the Hill. And we have one more question. All right. Uh, someone said, will there be socially distanced seating this year? Great question. So I'm gonna segue into that COVID question as a whole. So currently we are back to normal seating, but we are adhering to 
the state guidelines and the university guidelines. So stick with us, we're in this together. Um, but yeah, great question. We will be constantly adapting to whatever we need to to make sure that you guys are safe. We, know, we not only want you guys to be safe, we want our associates to be safe. Um, and speaking of associates, we're hiring. So if you need a job, <laughs> Like with a little segue into that. <laughs> Good segue. Yeah. yeah, if you need a job, just text York to 75,000, uh, 75, making sure I remember all those zeros. So 75,000 York, it'll show you all of the campus jobs available. Um, baristas, kitchen crew, whatever you are good at, um, we might have a position available for you. And, and from the university's perspective on COVID, we're highly recommending that everybody gets vaccinated before they arrive. We also have vaccinations available once you get here. Um, masks are encouraged, but not required because of uh, our state law. Yes. Um, so, yeah, good to know those things. Yeah, love it. Okay, so that vegan vegetarian question, this is your place, urban more, urban more, lover of plants and more plants, definitely one of my favorite concepts. So, um, fun fact, this is a bowl, bowl concept. So, every single week we have a, a bowl of the week. So, this one is Mediterranean, comes with the taros, carrots, cucumber, um, tzatziki, and then all of the fun things, baked, baked falafel, all that good stuff. It's really, really good. Um, the associate that works here is one of my favorites, <laughs> and they always just really make sure that it is what you need. So if you are avoiding, if you're vegan and you don't want the cheese, they won't add the cheese for you. So definitely just speak up. Um, but this location is made for you. We're trying to be as vegan vegetarian friendly as possible there are more options than just this location again we'll be coming out with a vegan vegetarian guide so stay tuned so what's your favorite place to eat in oh, here oh god <laughs> depends on the day <laughs> um i mean the meatloaf is one of my favorites and then i would say we're gonna go to passport to pasta chicken alfredo i love the potato burrito at el cerdo um, the Mediterranean bowl from Herbamore is one of my favorites, and then also the Kung Pao tofu bowl. And then there's just so many. I could just, if I could just list one item from each place, <laughs> right? I would probably. So many. And I'll point out Humphreys is right across the uh, yeah. across the way here. Humphreys yeah. and Yoko, and a great view of the of the mountains over there. Oh yeah, this is definitely. We always joke, we're like, should we work upstairs? The view is amazing. So <laughs> definitely one of my favorite parts to um, sit down and grab some lunch. Wanted to show you really quickly another beautiful mural from Jason Jones. Personally, one of my favorites. I know I keep saying it's my favorite. I think I just love every single one of them so much I can't decide. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is super fun. Like what comes first, the chicken or the egg is what Christopher said. And I was like, couldn't say it better. So <laughs> definitely a great one. And then right across, you can see another one. It's a little further away, but yeah, super great artwork. It's so good to have our local artists making those things. Right. Being able to support them. I love it. I love it too. They're awesome too. They were, they were so fun to work with. Um, so we really enjoyed that. This is Passport to Pasta. So this location, this whole food hall, doesn't quite have pizza upstairs. And that's because we have Eureka Pizza, another local pizza vendor, right downstairs. From 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., you can get a large pizza for a meal trade. So, Did you say a whole pizza? A whole pizza. A large pizza. <laughs> so freshman 50 don't worry we got you <laughs> just kidding uh, so basically this is passport to pasta this is definitely one of my favorites the chicken alfredo is out of this world so so good um, but passport to pasta we try to bring in all kinds of pastas from all kinds of all different kinds of regions this comes with garlic knots and a side salad or a side salad whatever you want um, but definitely one of my favorites garlic knots. I got introduced to this pretty recently. Oh my gosh. And it, it was a game changer for me. It's totally a game changer. And then like when you're done with your pasta, you can dip it in the sauce. Yeah. It's so good. Um, loaf and pickles. This is kind of like our Subway style deli. So um, you can get chips, a, a soup, but basically build your own sandwich. So super customizable. We do have a few sandwiches that um, you can choose from. Huge perk here. And something that I haven't mentioned yet is we actually have make our bread in house so um not only here but at pomfret and fulbright dining halls the bread that you get at the deli that is made in house by our amazing amazing pastry chef cody he's also the one making croissants at home coffee co so his his union bakery team is amazing and it's so delicious but they're bringing us um, basically local bread made fresh every single day in all of our dining locations so super cool there 
And so you graduated from the University of Arkansas. I did graduate from the what University of Arkansas. What did you study? Arkansas. I did hospitality management. Oh, okay. um, thought I wanted to do events, and then I realized that I like food a lot. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I realized I like marketing a lot, and I could combine the two. So um, it's been really, really fun to work here and stay, stay on campus you know um, we have a question yeah what's up uh, mel asks read somewhere that breakfast won't be served everywhere on friday august 13th will the app indicate which dining will have breakfast that day um i'm not quite sure where where we got that breakfast question or the um, information but i can guarantee we'll definitely have locations on campus that will be serving breakfast again totally right go to that app look at the menu um, look at the hours, but Fulbright and Pomfret Dining Hall, as well as this food hall, will have um, breakfast available for you. So yep. I think it's like 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Breakfast will be available. If you don't find exactly what you want, we do still have Hill Coffee Co. They have an amazing SEC sandwich. <laughs> it's a bagel, um, super good. Sausage is even made mm -hmm. in-house unreal oh. um, you can use your dining dollars so that's really great so if you don't see what you want there we definitely have options all over campus as well as chick-fil-a chick-fil-a is a meal trade location so um definitely check that out in the union right in the union okay yes locations are all over campus again totally recommend downloading that app seeing the campus map it'll really be interactive for you so you can see here is where i am on campus and here's where that food is so go check it out and if you ever ever have any struggles um I'm a fast walker. Message food on the hill, and we'll try to help you find it. So we can walk around with you. But um, this is another mural done by artist Jason Jones. This is an alligator gar. So um, I learned this summer that the Arkansas State Fish <laughs> is an alligator gar. Um, but this is super fun. A neon. A cool neon sign that he Which did. if you want to see a frightening fish, yes. go ahead and go to Google and, and, <laughs> and Google alligator. Yeah, right. maybe even look up like the world's largest and then you'll be like, <laughs> I can't believe I swim in lakes. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's a monster. Exactly. And then this is the exit. So you enter into the front and then you can only exit through here. And so let's go ahead and hop in there because we've got another amazing mural um, done by Tiger Sasha. So this is stunning i mean i don't even know how to describe yeah. it <laughs> it's hard to convey yes. uh, online when you're seeing here but yeah give yeah. it a good view lots of vegetables yeah are there food. details you might point out that you think are uh specific i mean i see a you know an old school pickup truck down there. oh yeah watering pail i mean there's all kinds of things I, it's like we should have a scavenger hunt just for this mural right like mm -hmm. um but basically one thing i did want to point out is fayetteville's my favorite bill so if you come to the city of Fayetteville and go to the square, you might see a mural that often a lot of people stand in front of, and it's like this beautiful blue mural. Um, Fayetteville's My Favoriteville is the one that kind of put that forward. And so we partnered with them and Tiger Sasha to bring a, a Fayetteville's My Favoriteville staple to our campus dining location. So super cool that this piece is something that not only connects you know like the campus to that to that slogan but um it also is in our dining hall so or our food hall so it's easily accessible we're getting Good a few Instagram questions spot. what's up um cameron asked if masks are required this year they are not they're recommended um someone asked i like your arkansas razorback necklace where did you get it at and are you guys ready for arkansas razorback football oh so ready um fun fact so my boyfriend actually got this for me got it from etsy and he thought it would be this big and then it came in and it's like kind of gaudy but i'm so here for it and i'm so glad you like it too but we got it on etsy it is fabulous Thank and you. jamie asks which dining hall is this this is the um food mm -hmm. hall so if you go it's our dining halls are pomfret dining hall and fulbright dining hall the reason that we don't call this a dining hall is because it's not all you care to eat it's more than you could but it's not quite all you care to eat um so with that being said, when you go upstairs, all those locations I showed you, you will exchange the receipt that you get at the front with that associate. Um, and so that is counts as your meal. That redeems one meal as well as three freebie stations, your your pastry, your dessert bar, fruit, and then fruit and bar. Coffee. Yeah, yeah, coffee. I mean, you can, you can add it on. Like there's a lot to get here. So um, definitely recommend when you get here, you know, make a little bagel. And if you don't finish it, you can snack on it later. So great. 
Um, but yeah, so this is a food hall. It's on 1021 West Dixon Street, right on the top of campus, right next to Humphreys, Fulbright, or well, Humphreys, Yoakum, mm -hmm. and then Gregson, Gregson right Gibson. across the yep. street. Yeah, so if you're in Walton or Kimple Hall or anything like that, you'll definitely be, um, you'll see this location very frequently. Attached to this building is some more meal trade locations, some chickens, sushi with gusto, my personal favorite, where the wild greens are. The greens are actually made in a, um, a freight farm, so a, a big old like freight from. <laughs> I, how do I even describe this? Well, on the north it's side like, of campus, don't yeah, you have a little others, like a hydroponic yes, kind of freight farm? Yes, and it's delicious. So the butterhead is grown on campus by us, and so super delicious greens and grains bowls. Um, Random thing, my yeah. favorite lettuce is butter leaf lettuce. Oh yeah, it is amazing. It is so good. Yeah, it's so good. Um, so. Definitely try that here too. And those are all meal trade locations as well as um, dining dollars locations. And then we're also connected to the Starbucks and the Eureka Pizza. So, so much. So much. And this is just one part. Like we just showed you nine locations. We're connected to all these other locations, but there's still so much to eat on campus. So you've got your Union Food Court, you've got Maple Grill, Pick Theory, Pomfret Dining Hall, Fulbright Dining Hall, all these menus change very frequently and so there's a ton of variety and I really personally challenge you to try everything on campus. Um, it'll be hard because you're going to be a freshman up in there where you kind of like stick to the same meal very frequently. Try it all. It's really good. So yeah. Any, any other questions? Any final questions? Yeah. For How's everyone doing? Yeah. We're caught up on the questions. Uh, but well, any last minute questions, feel yeah. free to ask. Let me just say one quick little spiel. My name is Kinsey and basically I run Food on the Hill. So myself and my marketing team, we are Food on the Hill, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I know we kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier, but definitely give us a follow and message us. If you have any questions, we are here for you. We want you to know where to eat. Um, we want you to like where you're eating and we want to make sure that um, you're well taken care of and have all the resources available for you. So follow us. You'll see a lot of us posting throughout um, the whole semester. We also do giveaways every single Wednesday, every Wednesday throughout the semester, which is super fun. So um, you'll have a lot of opportunities there. And then we also do takeovers. So if you are a student that loves to eat and you feel like you've got a good grip on campus dining, message us, take over our account. We want to see how you eat and utilize your meal plan. Um, we have a couple questions. Okay, what's up? <laughs> um, someone asked, do the dining halls offer non-dairy milk alternatives? Yes, they do. Um, so we've got soy milk. I think it's soy milk and almond milk. Um, one thing I really recommend is if you are someone that is going to take advantage of that, talk to our dining hall directors or just go to the front whenever you swipe in and just let them know like, hey, you know, my name is blah, blah, blah. And, <laughs> and um, can I talk to your dining hall director? Our directors want to make sure we have that milk available for you very frequently. So I would just make sure um, you tell them and they know to order it for you. We do have a couple more questions too. Yeah. Why don't we show off that? Yeah. Why don't we, yeah, let's get yeah. that great background in there. And then uh, someone asked, when you have visitors, is there options to pay for their meals? Yeah, you can use your dining dollars. So that's super easy peasy when you go, especially when you go into like Fulbright, Pomfret dining halls um, or this food hall, just say, hey, I have a guest, I would like to pay for them. And then it's actually discounted because it's tax free if you use your dining dollars. All right, well, we're caught up on the questions. Do you have any final messages to say, everyone, before I, they get here? I mean, I think that's it. I hate to plug us again, but follow us on social media, download our app. Um, one fun new thing that's coming to campus is UARC um, mobile transact um, ordering. So you can actually do mobile ordering at some, some of our locations throughout campus. So definitely download that app as well. We'll have more resources when you come to campus. And if you have any questions at all, just again, message us, Food on the Hill. Um, or email us if you're more comfortable dining at uark.edu. Bye, you guys. Have a good one.